welcome to this new series i am going to start a new series in this i am going to solve uh, certain problems of quantum mechanics so i am starting this with a problem Uh, the problem is that we have to show that eigenvalues of a Hermitian matrix are real and eigenvectors corresponding to distinct eigenvalues uh, are orthogonal. So let us start with this problem. For this, uh, let A is a Hermitian matrix. A is an Hermitian matrix or operator. That means A dagger is equal to operator A. Let this A operate over. Phi n, it's a eigenvector. Then, when it operates over it, let it give a eigenvalue a n, and let me call this as equation number one. And here, this phi n, as I stated earlier, it is an eigenvector. Now. Consider equation one again. So if we consider this equation, then I can write down it like this. Now if I operate this equation with phi m, it's a uh, it's a bra vector and it's a cat vector. So if I operate it with this cat vector, then this equation will become phi m a operator phi n is equal to a n phi m phi n. Now again we consider phi m a dagger is equal to then if I consider like this then I have to take a complex conjugate because I am taking a bra vector here and here I have considered the cat vector so it's a general property so okay so in this case it is phi m let me call Sorry, let me call this as equation number three and say sorry, let me call this as equation number three. So if I operate this with phi n sketch vector, then this equation will become phi n, right? I am operating with this on both sides. So then it can be written like this. Let me call this as equation number three. Sorry, this is equation number two and this is equation number three. Now two minus three gives us that phi m a phi n minus phi m a dagger phi n it must be equal to a minus a n minus a m phi m and phi n but as I know that a is a Hermitian matrix so that means this is equal to a operator if this will become a operator then it means both the terms become identical and will cancel out and this will be equal to zero, which implies that uh, a n minus 
A M dag star and the scalar product of phi m and phi n it must be equal to zero right so as this is equal to zero so if this is equal to zero that means now two cases arises first case is when m is equal to n and when m is not equal to n so when m is equal to n in that case uh, if it is so then phi n phi n it must be equal to greater than 0 because the reason for this is that because phi m and phi n it is equal to delta m n and this is equal to 0 or 1 it is 0 when m is not equal to n and it is equal to 1 when m is equal to n so that means here its value will be greater than 1 its value will be greater than one, not greater than equal to but its value will be greater than 1 its value is greater than 1 so that means in this part for m is equal to n this will be greater than 1 or sorry greater than 0 or you can say that it is equal to 1 that means this term must be equal to 0 so if it means this is equal to 0 means a n minus a m star is equal to 0 that means a n is equal to and n is equal to m so that means it is also n so a n star so what does it mean it suggests that eigenvalues are real because it is equal to its complex conjugate so it is possible if it is real so this means that eigenvalues are real and when m is not equal to n in that case a n is not equal to a m star but phi m and phi n it means it must be equal to 0 this means that their scalar product is 0 this is possible if and only if phi m and phi n are orthogonal so hence we arrived at the conclusion that eigenvalues of a Hermitian matrix are real and eigenvectors corresponding to distinct values are orthogonal. First part is proved here and second part is proved here. Let me uh, again uh, recapitulate. This is the first part and this is the second part right so thanks for watching this lecture in the next video i will again uh, try to solve many more problems so that's it